As the city of Chicago continues to receive migrants, meeting asylum seekers' everyday needs continues to be a challenge. That issue came up at a city council hearing today. WGN's Brona Tumulty has more. Brona. Good evening, guys. Yeah, plenty of problems highlighted today at City Hall about those shelters, including things like food, temperature control, rodent infestations, and another problem centering on the right to work here and the lack of permits that have been issued. We have about, you know, I would say close to 30,000 uh, refugees from the Global South. Um, only 1,000 permits, which was roughly speaking, have been processed so far. 25th Ward Alderman Byron Sigcho Lopez raising the issue of work permits for migrants during today's City Council meeting, of which only a small number have been issued. We have a shortage of about 29,000 work permits. That is a big problem. But it's fair from the only issue on hand, specifically when it comes to the condition of the city's 28 shelters. Over the past two years, the city has worked hard to meet the needs of new arrivals, but real concerns have also arisen as to the conditions in our shelters and landing zones. They're not really being equipped with the resources that they need to have in order to meet even basic demands. Mary Otts works with some of the migrant families who stay at the Inn of Chicago downtown. She says it's one of the cleaner locations, but it still has its fair share of shortages. Medication, um, diapers, food or kind of our most basic things. Another volunteer telling us off camera that living conditions at one of the Pilsen shelters is drastically more dire, describing a lack of heat and a food supply that's often spoiled. We've heard reports of inadequate food, bed bug and rodent infestations, a lack of containment for infectious diseases and failures to provide treatment for medical conditions. That shelter among those on which updates were shared today by a number of city agencies, including the Department of Family and Support Services, who've been working on improvements. At the Halstead Shelter, we have added a heat and smoke detection system with ex external monitoring throughout, so the team gets reads even if they're not on site. We're told nearly 14,000 migrants are being housed in city shelters. Members of the city council were reminded today that they can go and visit those shelters for a look themselves with a 48-hour advance notice. Advocates for migrants, however, want social workers and journalists to be allowed in. Micah, right? Thank you, Brona.